Right, I'm back. Now I'm going to show you how to make... This isn't dry yet. But how to make a miniature paint palette. And they're not hard at all. I've just got some chipboard discs. You could use a piece of wood, you know, shave it out for the shape. Uh, and you need two little bits of, um, like, skewer. These are meat skewers. So all I did with mine is I cut the hole first. And I just use this. It's just as easy. I think I'm going to make one a little bit bigger than that. So hopefully I get this in the right place. That'll do. And I just shave that out how I want it. Just use your nifty knife. Like that. I know they're done a little bit like in an oval shape, but you can have them however you want. It's a miniature, it doesn't matter, as long as it looks the part. And who's to say just because that's how they were made originally, we have to keep it like that. So I'm just shaving that bit out, that'll do. Like that. Do be careful when you're using these knives because they can be a little bit iffy and they're sharp. That'll do me. Now all I have to do is just move that to one side, set the blade down. Um, that's where your thumb goes and I'm just going to round mine off to like a kidney shape. Something like that. That'll do me. I, I aren't fussed at all. That'll do. See? And then all we do is to paint that. So I'm just going to paint that in a dark brown. This I'm using a burnt umber so here we are paint that we're a nice layer of paints exactly i'd shave all this off and make sure it was nice and smooth but you don't have to um i'm just really showing you basic the basic way to make one and then you can take it from there like that like that there that'll do nicely you don't even have to wait for that to dry what you do need to do though is to i'm just going to pop it in the water now shave these now i'm just going to move this out of the way because it's drying i don't want that to get shavings over it and I'm just going to move that out of the way now I've um when you look at these you can see they look like bristles on the end and the way to do that and the way I've done it about a centimeter in make a little cut and you do that carefully all the way around like that and then you do it and very carefully I put my thumb on the end of that so I've got control of the knife and very carefully shave it back the opposite way and you start to get that dip so it looks like the bristles have been added but it's still not finished because there's no point and all I do then I'm just going to wind this down a little bit is just shave the end of it into a kind of like bristly point so it doesn't have to be even kind of like that so it looks like you've got bristles just going to do that one again so we're just shaving a little bit off, just digging the knife into it. Bring it all the way around. And very carefully support the knife 
and your finger. And don't press hard because you'll slice your finger off. Uh, just sneak that back in there the opposite way. Very, very carefully. You might need to go back and forth a little bit. Like that. I think that'll do me. And then just pop the point on the end. There you go. So we've got our two paint brushes. Now they also have to be, uh, I mean you can have them any colour you want, uh, obviously, but I just do the handles brown. Just take the little paint brush, dry that off a little bit. And we paint these brown. Paint down into that groove, that well that you've made there, that um, bit there, so that you uh, when you put your white on or the silver, I didn't have the, any silver available, so I used white to make it look like the metal has attached the bristle to the handle. And you can tidy them up. Just leave that to dry. So we're just going down into the handle. It just shows up the white better than leaving it uh, plain and then doing it. So there's your two brushes. So we'll just let them dry. Uh, just wash this. Now all you've got to do, choose your paints. And um, let's see if I can... That's fine. So I'm just going to use a little bit of red. The slightest touch. That's all you need, like that. That's that one, but the rest of the ones that I've got are all um, from these pots. So you can use any paint, really. So I'm just going to use a little brush. Dobber blue. Now, all you do <laughs> is you take take that brush, that little brush. You must wash your brush after each one. That doesn't need doing, but bring it down like you've used it and then wash it. And the blue, like you've used the blue. See, like that. And the yellow. Just like you would if you were actually using it. <laughs> Bring your paint across. And then all I did was to paint the, which I'm going to use, the actual paint in here. There's a little bit too much red on there. 
which is fine. And I'm just going to paint that red. Look, I've actually used a miniature paint palette. <laughs> so we'll put that on there. And then I think I will... I might use the blue just to paint my bristles. Like that. And the last thing you want is to put the little silver band between the paint and the brush. And I think I used this one. Let me just know it's not that one. I think I used I don't have any you could use gold or white or silver, it doesn't matter. Just a bit of paint on your brush and turn it as you pop that in in that middle section. Like that. Like that. That'll do. Clean your brushes, put your lids on, and then what we're going to do is um, attach those. Now, I would normally use glossy accents, but for quickness, I'm not. And I'm just going to attach, well, actually, I'm going to attach a bit of glue to that. And just pop that across there and we'll pop this one across that one Oops, like that and there you go little paint palettes I put that one through the thumb bit but I might just take that off actually if I can no leave it <laughs> but there you go and um, not bad quite easy to make thanks for watching take care and I'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now